Welcome to the Learning D2L Podcast, where in each episode we look at best practices when using Desire to Learn and the various tools within the system. In this podcast, we'll look at copying course content from one course to another. This would be something you do when you, say, receive your empty course shell and you want to copy content from a previous offering. To do that, you use the Import, Export, Copy Components tool. To find that tool, go to the Tools menu and go to Edit Course. When the Course Administration panel comes up, you'll want to find the Import, Export, Copy Components tool and click on it. And then when the Import, Export, Copy Components panel comes up, the radio button next to Copy Components from another org unit should be selected. From another org unit just means from another course. And then make sure that the Include Protected Resources box is checked. And click the Search for Offering. This is going to allow us to go find the other course, the one with the content in it. You can just click the little magnifying glass here and that will display all the courses that you have access to. If you have a large number of courses, you may want to type a search string in here to reduce the courses that are returned. The course I want is right here, so I'm going to go ahead and select the radio button next to it and then click Add Selected. When we return to the previous pane, you'll notice that the course is now listed here. If that's not the course I want, I can click on the check mark or the X here and delete that course and then go select another one. Now I need to go down and click Copy All Components. When the Copy Course Components History page appears, you will see an indicator over here to the right that the content is being processed. When that process is completed, there will be a green circle with a check mark in it indicating that it is completed. And then you have two options here, copy another package or view content. Since you're normally not going to copy content from two different courses into one, you'd want to select the course content button. That's going to take you to the content for that course. And that's a process for copying content between two courses.